all right hello everyone so welcome to my new trigonometric substitution video okay so in this video we're going to solve this integral now this is a special integral because inside this square root you have a full quadratic function right so this quadratic function has three terms x to the power one term and we learned in the previous video that we have to use completing the square method to convert that quadratic function into a function with two terms right okay so let's do that so let's take that function first 2x square minus 4x minus 6 now before you use completing the square method remember always you need to have uh, the coefficient of x square need to be 1 okay so let me rephrase it that coefficient of x square should be 1 if you want to use completing the square method okay all right so here the coefficient of x square is 2 so what i'm going to do is still we can use completing the square method but we have to make it 1 the coefficient of x square we have to make it 1 so let's factor 2 out okay so then what happens is then the coefficient becomes 1 so you have minus 2x minus 3 right factoring 2 means you are dividing by 2 all right now let's use the completing the square method to the function inside the parentheses okay so what do we do but let's keep these two and the parentheses okay so two parentheses now inside you look at the coefficient of x so it's two half of two is one so this part is actually x minus one it has something to do with x minus one square right now remember you have to um consider that negative sign also now what is x minus 1 square x square minus 2x plus 1 right so we have x square minus 2x that term so this is a mess so let me clean it up a little bit so x square minus 2x part can be taken from x minus 1 square so we can have x minus 1 square all right but x minus 1 square is actually x square minus 2x plus 1 not minus 3 so how can we um how can we account for that how can we change this plus 1 to minus 3 so if you subtract 4 from 1, you get minus 3, right? So x minus 1 square minus 4 will give you x square minus 2x minus 3. So let, let's make sure it. So x minus 1 square minus 4. So x minus 1 square is x square minus 2x plus 1. And this minus 4, it will give you minus 3, right? 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Perfect. So this is another way to rewrite this function okay so now we have used the completing the square method so let's write what we got so two times parentheses x minus one square minus four okay so now we can get rid of parentheses let's distribute that two so two times x minus one square minus two times four is eight okay so all right let me summarize a little bit so we can write the function inside the square root now as uh, a function we are it just have two terms right okay so now we reduce down these three terms into a two term function so the only difference here is the the, the problem with that with this specific uh, question is that our coefficient of x square is not one so we have to factor two out and do the rest of the completing the square like as normal okay all right so now we can use trigonometric substitution all right so let's see what is a well here a square is 8 right so we can choose our a to be square root 8 okay or uh, let's do a smart thing you know what let's factor 2 out here so if you factor 2 out of the square root so you get square root 2 outside and inside you have x minus 1 square minus 4 okay now a square is now 4 okay a is then 2 right so that's slightly better right so a is 2 and here we have minus x minus 1 square minus 4 so then what is the substitution well the substitution is going to be x minus 1 is equal to a secant theta right so usually we would have x is equal to a secant theta now it's x minus 1 is equal to 2 secant theta because instead of x we have x minus 1 square right usually we have x square but now we have x minus 1 square so that's the difference okay so let's use the substitution um so here square root 2 so instead of x minus 1 we have 2 secant theta so let's replace it 2 secant theta square minus 4 now be careful we want to replace dx so how do we do that 
well let's make x subject so x is equal to if you take this one to the other side 1 plus 2 secant theta so let's differentiate x with respect to theta so derivative of 1 is 0 so derivative of 2 secant theta is 2 secant theta tangent theta right okay so then dx is actually 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta so let's write it here 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta okay so we have done the substitution correctly hopefully correctly so let's uh, take this 1 over square root 2 outside the integral so 1 over square root 2 integral 2 secant theta square is 4 secant square theta minus 4 here 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta so we can factor 4 out inside the square root right so square root so 4 secant square theta minus 1 right so now secant square theta my oops let's keep writing these terms all right so now we know from Pythagorean identity secant square theta minus 1 is tangent square theta okay all right so what is the square root of 4 tangent square theta well it's 2 tangent theta right uh, so here 2 tangent theta here 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta now we can see 2 cancel out tangent theta cancel out so what do we get 1 over square root 2 integral of secant theta d theta now I'm going to give you the integral of secant theta okay so 1 over square root 2 integral of secant theta is natural log secant theta plus tangent theta and with the arbitrary constant plus c all right so now the important part that I want to focus is how to rewrite this final answer in terms of x now to do that we have to use the substitute itself what is the substitute x minus 1 is equal to 2 secant theta right okay so this means secant theta is equal to x minus 1 over 2 okay so we can replace this secant theta by x minus 1 2 easy that's easy but to replace tangent theta we have to draw that triangle right but secant theta is actually what 1 over cosine theta so if you take the reciprocal cosine theta is then 2 over x minus 1 right so cosine theta is actually adjacent side over hypotenuse so adjacent side length is 2 hypotenuse is x minus 1 so we want to find this unknown side c or let's call it d let's use the Pythagorean theorem b square plus 2 square is 4 is equal to x minus 1 square so b square is x minus 1 square minus 4 so b is then square root of this whole thing all right so that we know this missing side length x minus 1 square minus 4 all right so let's write the final answer nice and clean 1 over square root 2 natural log what is secant theta x minus 1 over 2 what is tangent theta well tangent is uh, opposite over adjacent so here square root x minus 1 square minus 4 over adjacent side is 2 plus c so this is the solution answer for the integral okay so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video with a new topic partial fraction decomposition or integrate integration using partial fraction decomposition so see you there thank you very much bye bye